come from nursing for, for 40 some years. She had a stroke and now she's receiving uh, full-time skilled nursing care, the same kind she gave. So, um, great ironies in this life, we don't escape these great ironies. Um, but she's receiving wonderful care now and um, it's an interesting journey for, for me and for us. Um, the world of the nursing home, I've had several generations through there. We liken it to a head-on collision between comedy and tragedy. Um, some of you might know what I'm talking about. And those of you that don't, you probably will someday. You'll know someone. The tragedy, I believe, is obvious. It's the season of life that, that is, is so difficult to watch and difficult to bear. Watching someone slip through your fingers like that, slowly. The comedy, though, I think is the grace we're given to handle the tragedy we wouldn't otherwise be able to take. So we look for laughter. We look for things that humor us. We look for things that, uh, that make us laugh and stories. And I have um, lots of stories from the particular nursing home where my mom now resides. <coughs> Many of, of, of the residents there are, are, are co-conspirators, depends on how you look at it. <laughs> deserve the good song. So some of them, uh, I've worked some of them into a song. And uh, I'm going to tell you about a few of them. I'm going to sing about them. There was a, a lady named Margie. And Margie had little gray braids. I went down and signed her face. And she had a baby doll. And Margie's, Margie's baby doll was, it was, a, it was a good thing. On Friday night, you know, she, she, she got real excited. She looked forward to having her son come and visit. You know? And Margie wasn't on too many meds. So they let her have beer. And her son would bring her beer. And she'd get lit. No, not tipsy. She'd get lit. <laughs> but uh, so when fr Friday night was good. I uh, was happy that Saturday morning would always roll around. And on Saturday morning, Margie was hung over and her baby doll became a weapon. <laughs> it should strike you with it. <laughs> Bob was a tall, lanky man, a lanky fellow whose mind was going. And he had a big, deep, bellowing voice. And he had mantras that he liked to recite. One of which was, how now, brown cow, how now. Out. And you couldn't stop him. He was unstoppable, so you had to join him. So you'd walk onto the unit at any given time, and the nurses and the aides and the residents and Bob leading them would be saying, How now, brown cow? <laughs> Quite an adventure. My favorite mantra of Bob's, actually, though, was, uh, Where the hell am I supposed to go now? <laughs> My mom's not, my mom's in this song, I, I had to include her. She's a very good nurse, an excellent nurse, a smart woman, a good, good nurse. She's still smart. Uh, she's crafty now. And she can get into the med cart. The narcotics door, they're supposed to be locked. She can break those open, no problem. And when she gets busted on her floor, she'll just go around to the next floor and get into their and roll around to the next floor. You're smart that way. More power to her, I'd say. Come on, Mom. <laughs> she'll call me, she'll say, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Miss Cleve is a woman who was one, she sang in a gospel choir all her life, I think, and now she's confined in her chair. Uh, and her eyes seldom open, but she's still singing. Miss mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Cleve. 
Raymond was an architect. His mind was going, but his hands were still busy. So they gave him what's called a busy apron. It has zippers and Velcro, ties, buttons. Well, Raymond had that thing figured out about five minutes flat. The thing that made Raymond special was he liked to wear it commando. <laughs> it's true. Could not make this up. My favorite was Geneva. Geneva was a little bird-like lady with Alzheimer's in her chair, in her wheelchair. She had no family to speak of. She was there for 13 years, so everybody became her family, and everybody checked up on Geneva, and everybody knew how she was doing. One day we walked in to see her. We leaked in real close. We said, hello, Geneva, how are you today? She always had something to say that made you wonder, made you think twice. And this time when I said, hello, Geneva, how are you today? She said, only God can save us now. Marge is stroke Geneva with a baby doll. Barb knocked off the med car coming down the hall. Bob leads the congregation when he sings out in a brown cow. Only God can save us now. Jesus is fuzzy, wuzzy, fuzzy, wuzzy, wuzzy, baby. As clear as sings hallelujah from the choir at a hood Cry. 